morning from Rotterdam. We have had a lovely breakfast at the Healing Cow. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's very, very yummy. Very tasty, we definitely recommend. Uh, and we're just getting off the ship now and we're probably gonna book a water taxi. Um, and I think we're gonna do the Euromast because um, we've seen a few videos and it looks pretty cool. Um, and we're very, very excited to explore Rotterdam. have just walked and found where we're going to book a water, ta water taxi from so we've got that booked it's about 50 minutes time so we're gonna have a little wander up and down um, the bridge is up i don't know if you can see at the moment so once that's back down we'll have a little stroll see what's going on and then we're heading to the euro mask which i can't really see because of the rain at the moment but we're still very 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 excited to go on it and hopefully the rain clears by then so this is where we're getting the water taxi from. Uh, the app is really easy to download. You literally just search water taxi Rotterdam um, and then you put where you want to go uh, to and from and how many and then it just tells you and you pay and you get a time. So this is where we are. This is where Iona is and we want to go over here. I thought, oh no, that won't be far to walk. So it takes about 50 minutes. So absolutely not doing that. Um, so yeah, this is the little map. taxi so there is Iona quick walk down and uh, yeah there it is we have a little water taxi to ourselves and we are on our way uh, we're very excited so fast did you enjoy it yeah <laughs> uh, we are right at the euro where is it the euro mast um, and you can actually see the top so we're very very excited hopefully uh, yeah the weather stays so that we can get a good view colour being white because of rain. <laughs> we can't really see anything. We're soon going to be going up there. Um, there is the beautiful Iona. Oh, look at that as well, that park. Oh, that's gorgeous. Didn't see that. There's a border taxi as well. So we might just spend a bit of time on this platform. Um, and then go right to the top and then come back down. And I think our plan is to go to the market hall. Yeah, here we are. Felt like such a good idea going to the top, but now that we're at the midpoint and I can see how far we've got to go. Um, <laughs> I don't know if this was the best idea, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Might have my eyes closed the whole time. Um, I need a good drink afterwards. He <laughs> <laughs> was the short that we actually wanted to do this, but we're sat here now. Oh, it's really good. Really, 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 really. Yeah. Spinning. Rotterdam, with bonkend hart. 
uit als de kuip trilt op haar ijzeren vesten. De stad die werkt. De mouwen opstroopt als de dag begint. Proud to be. Not afraid of adventure. We were going to walk around everywhere before we decided what to get, but then we found these, which just look absolutely phenomenal. So we have ordered one each, um, but we've already eyed up like the next three places we're getting food. So much like the last few days, this is going to be a big food day. Here he is. Here he is. He's got the food. <gasps> Oh my goodness. I just thought I'd put garlic sauce in it. Oh. Yeah. Lovely. It's beautiful. Obviously that food wasn't enough. So George has gone to get some dumplings and I'm getting churros. Uh, because yeah, not that we needed any more food. Didn't quite realise the portion size. Uh, what feels like a huge amount of churros to get through. And I know George will eat any, so all for me. So we've just got back on the ship from a slightly, more than slightly wet and uh, rainy Rotterdam. Um, and on the way back in to get to the front uh, lifts, we have to walk past the spa. And I just said, oh, do you have any gaps in the hydrotherapy? Uh, no, no, no. At all for today. And um, luckily they had two spaces free at uh, four o'clock, which is in uh, just under an hour's time. So uh, to warm us up, I've booked us into that. <laughs> Someone's very, very relaxed in the corner. So we got down to the spa and they showed us straight in and said that we were the only people booked in to the hydrotherapy suite. So George is there. Uh, we've got our dressing gowns. We've got some beds. Um, we're absolutely loving this. Uh, I think, is it 49 pounds each? Yeah. 49 pounds each, but for us, definitely worth it. We got very, uh, soggy and wet in Rotterdam, but although we had a lovely time, we wanted to warm up. And also it's Valentine's Day, so I got this for George um, for Valentine's before we go for dinner tonight. Also, uh, in the thermal suite, there are these showers. There's one either side of the steam room, um, but they're no ordinary showers. They have different, well, there's different ones you can have. So the top one's a fog one. I don't know if you can see it. This one is Atlantic Ocean. This one is Tropical Rain. This one is Caribbean Storm. And this one is Side Shower. So there's uh, jets at the side, at the top. Um, I'll put one on and show you. But also they make like sounds as well and different smells and it's very relaxing. This is the Caribbean storm, apparently. Uh, it does sound like a storm. Um, it's very nice, hot down as well. Or not.
we are at the Crow's Nest having a few uh, beers before our Valentine's Day dinner and our Valentine's Day dinner tonight we are at Sindhu which we absolutely love last time we were on Aona um, last July and we loved it on Aurora so we're very excited well I'm excited are you excited? starter which is these mini poppadoms with a mango chili and lime chutney uh, which we're very excited to tap into so i've gone for the crab and this looks bloody delicious george has gone for the chicken which sort of looks like a salad thing salad is my pre-starter <laughs> then your main starter is yeah. what is this sorry the lamb cutlets yeah but i'm not having a dessert you're not but i am but he will get a dessert because he'll go to the buffet so we have got our signature plates, which look absolutely incredible. So, yeah. Are you happy with it, George? Yeah. We've also got naan bread, uh, dal, vegetables, and rice. So, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I had no idea what to get, but I've got elements of trifle. George is holding out for the cheese and biscuits. Well, I'm absolutely done here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to seeing how this is. It's raining today, which is fab, and I've booked the five of us a water taxi. Oh, there's Iona. Booked us a water taxi um, to take us across to the market hall uh, so we can grab some food, which we're really excited for. We're probably going to have a bit more of an explore today as it's a bit less rainy um, and see what else we can find. Also, I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but these have to be pre booked. Um, we had quite a few people turn up today and yesterday wanting to get on the water taxis um, and uh, when, we, when you get on them, they say, sorry, it's pre-book only. Um, we had to wait an hour as well, because we're right next to the ship. So it's a really popular one to hop straight onto. But I would thoroughly recommend it as a really quick, easy and fun way to travel around Rotterdam. But also, if you are heading towards the SS Rotterdam or the Euromast, a great way to get views of Iona. It's really, really warm actually, uh, which is nice. Um, so we have just got some drinks. The cube house is over there. Yeah, we're enjoying drinks just before finding a few places to grab food. I 
I am going for a chicken burrito, which I'm very excited about. I think this is what it will look like, or something like that when it comes out. I've got my burrito and George has got his food that he had, same as he had yesterday. Is it nice? Very happy. We've decided to just have a bit of a lazy afternoon. We've really enjoyed exploring Rotterdam and I'm very sure that we will be on a cruise that goes uh, to Rotterdam again in the future. Uh, but for now, we are finding a pool, a hot tub, somewhere just to sit and unwind, grab a cocktail and enjoy being outside. It's actually not cold at all, um, which is really, really lovely. So perfect excuse to sit in a hot tub and just enjoy being on holiday. Also, one great thing with Iona is there's so many little places where you can just sort of tuck yourself away out of kind of the hustle and bustle. Um, just read a book, play some games. There's loads of really, really nice areas. I feel like every time I walk around, there's a brand new place to explore, which is lovely. We are in a hot tub uh, and we are enjoying cocktails. Are you having fun? Mm, cheers! Cheers! accidentally left um, and now the queue is full so top tip if you get in the queue for a restaurant stay in it because it may close just a little update uh, I spoke to the lovely lovely uh, staff at the Keeling Cow and explained what happened and they've booked us managed to get us a table for about 10-15 minutes time so really looking forward to going there um, we were really really keen to go back because the food was so good the first time and I really want to try something different um, and I know the cheesecake is incredible there. So yeah, really, really excited. So about, well, 10 to 20 minutes, we'll be there. So I've gone for the Prime Minister burger. I've always wanted this and I've heard it's like the best burger at sea. So we shall see. And George has gone oh for God, a sure. sirloin steak, which he's very excited for. Is it, how have you had it done? Medium. Medium. Uh, James has got a Prime Minister burger. What have you got, Jackie? Uh, Ribeye. Rib Ribeye. And we've got a sirloin. sirloin. So quite the little selection.
we've just watched Remix in the main theatre, which did you enjoy? I loved it, yes, very good. Very good, we've had quite a few drinks, um, as usual. Got our Pepsi Max. Got, got our Pepsi Maxes to end the night. <laughs> we just popped into shh, um, we're after Remix. It's sort of like a... We don't really know what it is. We're not sure what it is. Um, but there might have been some entertainment earlier, but it felt sort of like a nightclub you when could, we went. It's going on now. It's going on there. Um, we'll put some videos in of us having a boogie and a picture of us. Um, but yeah, had a really nice time and now we're just taking a little stroll outside uh, before we head to bed. So we've had a really, really lovely few days in Rotterdam and we're very excited to um, explore Zeebrugge, Zeebrugge. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. But we're going into Bruges, so we're really, really excited. So we will see you in the morning. train uh, to Bruges. Uh, we got the shuttle bus um, from the ferry to the nearest train station and then the train to Bruges. The shuttle was about 20-25 minutes and the train literally like 10 minutes um, which was fab um, and now we are here. It's quite rainy um, but we're still very excited to be here and explore. Um, see what we can find. made it to the centre and it's really really pretty and beautiful. Are you having a good time? Yeah, very nice. Weather's very nice. a bit rubbish. But Weather's a bit rubbish but we are still having oh, the and there's a shop that's called Harry Potter so I think I'll be having a look in there. These are just for context. There's a normal coffee cup. This is absolutely amazing. There's a sangria in the middle. Um, let's. <laughs> and this is our view. somewhere to get a waffle. Went for a bubble waffle with lots of Nutella and that, like there is cream here and Nutella on top and Nutella inside. But this looks absolutely amazing. It was like five euros as well, which feels like a big old bargain. So can't wait to absolutely make a mess of this. Uh, but yeah, really looking forward to enjoying it. We are having a lovely time uh, walking around Bruges. <laughs> it's George. We've got some uh, gifts for people. We've had some food, we've had coffee, it's really lovely. So now we're just sort of walking around all the streets, exploring different areas um, and yeah, just enjoying a really nice port day. I also definitely feel like we could have had more than one day here. It feels like there's a lot of places to explore, lots to look at, lots of places to eat and just watch the world go by. Um, so George and I will definitely be returning here at some point.
yes. Yes. been in the crow's nest for a few hours enjoying a drink with Jamie and now and now we are at the olive grove uh, oh and here we have Jackie and Paul they want to be in the vlog <laughs> um, and our friend James uh, is on his way oh here we oh, no, 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 go <laughs> so yeah we're here uh, for our final meal of the previous and the olive grove lovely it's evening we um had a really nice dinner at the olive grove and we've just looked around the shops a little bit just to see uh something we wanted we picked up a photo and now we are in the theater ready to watch sky's the limit are you excited very good we saw this last time we were on Ian and we really liked it so we think it's a really nice way to end the cruise drink in the crow's nest and we haven't been to late night no. snacks no. at the buffet at all this cruise so yeah. we thought we'll end the cruise yeah. by going to the buffet yeah. and just getting a last little snack that we could take back to the room uh, we're all packed um, so yeah we're almost at the end so what better way to finish it with a final meal. 